Hey everybody, welcome back to the Twilight Zone. This is episode 4 of season 3. This one's called The Hunters. Last time we had the crossing. And you know who you don't cross? You don't cross a twin. Because if you cross a twin, the other twin will come back and get you. And that's what happened in the last episode. Psychological terror and mischief of man and death. But we raised money for the church and we we built oh geez, that whole community is is doing great, you know? The hunters. Sounds pretty straightforward. As I said last time, we've had hunters before. And it was a trippy episode with karate and ducks and fog. So hopefully this one is more uh understandable and coherent are you a hunter a beautiful summer day full of adventure for a young boy on the surface a field like any other Michael soon Hogan. to be covered with neatly arranged family homes but today this curious boy is about to discover a terrifying secret uh -oh. that could only be shared within the confines of the Twilight Zone. We'll see about that. Oh shit. It's the Goonies. He's gonna find One-Eyed Willie's pirate treasure. I like the little pipe. This kid came prepared. A monster! A monster! <laughs> Did you see that? Go back like two seconds. The hole. The only hole into it. But then there's, there's light around. If you if you actually look. You know, around where the hole is. There's light elsewhere coming through. Which is just a, a mistake in the, the camera position or something. Anyway, he didn't get trapped down there. He just fell into a hole. Uh, slightly. And then heard a noise and ran out of there. No need to get the cops involved. Do I recognize Michael Hogan? Who is Michael Hogan? The hall's over there, Sheriff. Okay, follow me. Oh, it's him, yeah. He's Michael Hogan, I think. Watch your step there. He's Battlestar Galactica. Right, what is it? An old mine chef? The new one. Oh, there weren't any mines around here. More like a cave in. What are those? Deer paintings of the old days. Looks like some kind of drawings. Hunter's paintings. The old buffalo. We gotta do a dig. I see you're still using one of those old cameras. Oh, Ooh, that is old. It's the most detailed. Well, this is the only part of the cave that we have the paintings. In. Oh, she's from. Why is that, Doctor Klein? Well, isn't she Nurse Ratched from One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest? A movie I know about, but haven't watched through. You know, I know, I know roughly how it goes. I've seen references to it. Seen Simpsons parodies of it. Yeah. We might watch it at some point, but I do know how it goes. And she is not a nice person, as far as I know. I think that maybe they use this as a sort of communal area where they got together. You might just be the first person to enter this cave since prehistoric times. You mean since dinosaurs Whoa. were around? Well, maybe not that long ago. Dinosaurs and humans did not coexist. Maybe as long ago as 12,000 years. How's that, that? That's not long ago at all. Freeze! Uh. It, Sheriff. Is it a snake? Very carefully. Lift your right foot. Take a step backwards. Sorry about that. Hope I didn't do any damage. Fortunately, no. But you're going to have to be a lot more careful. What's this? Get out of here, Sheriff. We think that that's a hunting party. See, that's a bison underneath the fire. You? Yeah. What's that over there? Well, that could be a kind of 
massive spiritual doorway. A spiritual or a circle where they all got together for protection. It looks like an animal. Something, huh? A spaceship? An ancient spaceship kid. Thanks a lot. Any times. Oh, looks like you're making some real progress down there. This could be one of the single most important archaeological discoveries of the century. This one? But meanwhile, I need to know that this site is going to be protected. From what? Vandalism. Some of the artifacts have been disturbed. Anything taken? No, just moved around. I think somebody's trying to scare us off. Someone's living down there. Oh, doctor, I don't know. A raccoon could have gotten into the cave, I suppose. Would a raccoon drag a sheep's carcass to the mouth of the cave? Oh, you never seen this before, Sheriff? This thing we were walking straight to? <laughs> Maybe a dog or something. Yeah, I dog. don't think anybody means you any harm. This isn't like the city. Well, no offense taken, Sheriff. But in the city, any cop on the beat would have noticed that sign. Okay. And speak of the devil. Here comes Here fancy comes. rich pants. What do you want, dude? Hi, Sheriff. You still here? You mean in spite of your feeble attempts to scare us off? What's that supposed to mean? She's, you know what I mean. She's convinced that you are causing trouble up here. She's the one causing trouble. You killing sheep? I've got houses to build. Now, just because they found a hole in the ground, my whole schedule shot to hell. I think it's a little bit more than a hole in the ground, Mr. Hill. There's hunters down there, dude. The fact is, it's my ground. Now, if you want a couple of rocks and bones, fine. Take them and get out of here. Come on, Jim. These things take time. Fine. You want to defend a little lady? Give him six months. Little lady? Uh-oh. -uh. <laughs> oh, hold it. Hold no, it, you two. No. Oh, come on, Roy. You know how it is. I've got two bedroom ranch styles to build. You're probably way out on a limb financially, aren't you? If you don't get this development built soon, you'll lose your shirt. Hey. Right? That's all right, Sheriff. I don't need protection. Let's set up a boxing ring. And I'm going to recommend to the state that they be protected under existing law. So you can just forget your scare tactics. Well, I'm not going to be shoved around by some ivory tower intellectual. I will look into the vandalism. So you just yeah. go on back to your dick. Time to firebomb the hole, dude. Destroy it all. Then build your houses? It's the only way. Rabbit? It could be your lamb. Dang right it's my lamb, and oh, you gotta do lamb. something about it. Don't get your shorts in a knot, Jacob. Bill Dempster's lost some cattle, and Wally Johnson's broodmare's missing. I think it's wolf. So is Wally Johnson. You know there hasn't been a wolf seen in these parts for over 30 years. Look, whatever it is, you better find out what it is and stop it. Mm -hmm. I know what my job is, Jacob. Everybody's hassling ah. the sheriff. He's gotta guard the hole, he's gotta guard the sheep. He's gotta guard the ladders. Dr. Klein, do you want to ride with us? No, I'm gonna stay down here. We're heading back to the university for the weekend. I wondered if he needed a ride. I'm staying here, John. You really should try and get out of this hole for a couple of days. It's too, the work's too important. Okay, see you on Monday. She's gotta float, flirt with the underground hunters. Bye, Dr. Klein. Don't get trapped down here. Jeez, this guy's a hunter. Follow the trail, Sheriff. Could be those damn silence. What do you see, Sheriff? Yeah. Isn't that where we came from? Watch your back, watch your back! Funk. Took your time getting here. It was daytime. He was like 20 feet away. Guess he had to go get his vehicle. Anybody down here? Hey, Professor, you down here? Hello? Hello? Oh, what is that? Not human remains, I hope. I have no idea what he's looking at. 
Oh, hey. It's still warm, isn't it? Why didn't you answer when I yelled? We didn't know who you were. What are you doing here? Checking in on you. Tracking missing livestock. All the blood trails I've been following the last two days have led in this direction. The animals have been dragged into this cave and probably cooked right here. Yep. The problem is, who's been doing it? You got any ideas? I couldn't care less about some missing sheep. Who said sheep? Well, I saw the bone, Sheriff. But there have been some changes in the paintings. What? Now, what do you mean? Somebody's been... Show you something. Somebody's been adding to the paintings? Are there sheep on it? Oh, cool, we get to compare. Take a look at this. Yeah? So? Take a good look. Show us. Uh, the hunter is on the right side of this little circle thing in the picture. Oh, now he's moved. And on the wall, he's on the left side. Looks like the negative's flip. No, no, no. Look. Here, he's facing toward the circle. Yeah. And there, he's not only on the other side. He's facing away from it. Well, I don't know, Doctor. Some prankster could have gotten into the cave and changed the paint. Like who? Well, maybe the same guys who left the carcass outside the cave. Yeah, pranksters. Or maybe you are right about Jim Hilson. Maybe he is trying to scare you off. He's just not bright enough to pull off something like this. Anyway, it's weird. these are authentic. <laughs> and how do you know that these are authentic? I studied in the caves at Altamira, Casula Gorge, and Capulon. You just have to take my word for it. I know about cave paintings. Oh, okay. sure, okay. Well, they are real. What's your explanation? I don't have any. It doesn't explain what you're really doing down here tonight, either. Something is happening here, late at night. That's the only explanation. We should set up cameras. There's someone here all day. And you are planning to spend the night to get the drop on the bad guys. Yeah, right? do you want to stay? You are not doing end of the sort. Come on, let's go into town. You can come back out first thing in the morning. Sheriff, come on, we're not Sheriff. in charge here. I am. And I intend to spend the night, and that's that. You see, I've got my cot here, so I can keep an eye on things. She Doctor, brought some cookies. Just mosey on along, and I'll see you tomorrow. Doctor, this is my county. You gotta stay. Blue Sheriff. Sweet dreams. <laughs> he, gave her, he gave her that you're crazy lady shake of his head. Wasn't somebody creeping up behind her? Hey, he decided to stay. Good job. Yeah, you're not going to see anything if you're sleeping. That sounds like uh, something you shouldn't be messing with. Have the paintings changed again? What about over here? What about this one? What's going on? Just gone. Who's there? Hey, uh, climb the ladder, maybe. Get out of there. Who's there? Sheriff! Don't get back to the hole. Maybe she'll be in the painting. Dr. Klein! Oh, they killed her. Maybe it was Jim. If he wants to develop this land, he'll stop at nothing. Oh my god. Behind you. Grab the weapon. Ugh. They don't respect your pistol. They only respect the spear. Oh. Uh. She's gone. They're gonna cook her. And eat her. Or she'll be reborn. In the painting. Oh, oh, that's not right. It's kind of cool looking though. I don't believe this. 
Uh, I just get out of there. There's like five of them. They're getting closer. What are you doing? Why are you doing this? Why aren't you getting out of there? Is this gonna work? He's gonna erase this guy from existence by just... No, dude! He just erased you! Erased you! It's like the, the camera episode. Remember that one? Jesus, Sheriff figured it all out, didn't he? He takes care of everything. Somewhere in the dark past, a few of our distant ancestors discovered a way to bridge the millennia. It's a secret that was buried 12,000 years ago and rediscovered for a brief moment in the Twilight Zone. Yeah, but no, no, that's not very satisfying though, voice. But where did they come from? Why did, why did, could he erase them? They weren't, sometimes they were there, sometimes they weren't. You know? It didn't really... What? <laughs> that was The Hunters. Season 3. The ending... They rushed the ending. They, run, they, they rushed the ending. How did the sheriff figure out that by going... <laughs> he climbed the ladder, right? Probably. Got a bucket. Filled it with, like, water and some sort of soap. Then he got a sponge. Climbed back down the ladders. You know, after he's seen all these... After firing... You know? After... after what's her name? Nurse Ratchet gets killed with a spear and dragged off into the cave system. After he's seen spooky stuff on the, the cave walls he's like, I got it. I got it. Bullets won't kill them. But a sponge will. And he's like, well, what if I can just do it before one of them hits me with a spear? Well, that's one of them. One of them down. Now i got to get the other six. What was, what was the thing in the middle of that painting that they kept spookily referring to? It, I don't know. They also had Mr. Businessman, Mr. Loan. I've got loans and I gotta build right now. He's gonna be happy. Because we're gonna close this whole damn place down. After the death of. Now yeah, the cops will get involved, the feds will come in. They'll lock the area down for a couple of days. And then. They'll fill the hole. And forget it ever happened. You know that guy. That guy's already erased all the paintings. What happens if he erases an animal? What happens to? You know there was no. There were no bison around. The rules of this episode. I know it's the Twilight Zone, but even with the Twilight Zone, you have to have rules, and it has to make sense. And I, I guess it did sort of. It just wasn't very satisfying. Did they bring her in? They were like, ah, she's the one from One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Give her this role and let's just kill her. Everybody will love it. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, and we never saw the little kid or the businessman after like the first 10 minutes. It was very light. The episode was light and it was kind of spooky. It had a spooky vibe to it. I do like, look, I do like, let's talk about what I liked. I like the the vibe of the cave. I like the music, the the sound effects that accompany the episode. Gave it a, a kind of a, an old time feel, like you were 10,000 years ago. It was kind of, kind of a tribal feel to the music. Uh, so I like that. And th yeah, that's it. That's it. That's everything. The sheriff was fine. Everybody was 
getting on his case. And he was just trying to get his job done, you know? He was doing the best he could for his community. He was trying to smooth. He's going to stop fights and smooth everything over. And he slept outside to keep watch. Didn't help. But uh, she got killed anyway. Whether he went home or... <laughs> whether he found her body the next day or whether he found it just then. Same kind of difference. But yeah, what was their deal? I guess we'll never know. They found that the voice tells us they they had they discovered a secret ten thousand years ago of how to for some reason come to our world through paintings and kill our sheep and people. And then well we we got rid of them. Just like the just like the photograph episode with the camera. You know, we take a picture of them, captures their souls. I feel like there's something there's something to this episode, but we've cut corners and we've we haven't really fleshed it out. And the people, apart from the sheriff, weren't very likable. Uh, and that's it. That's it. I feel like we set up some mysteries in the. In the cave paintings? What's that? We, we never find out, do we? You know, the kid's pointing at it. I was like, oh, it kind of looks like a bird or something. No, we don't know. We, we just never know. Maybe, they, maybe the next episode will deliver. It's called Dream Me a Life. Dreamy a life. That sounds kind of nice, you know? Kind of ethereal. An upbeat episode about a dream. So come back for that next time. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you. I'll see you there. I know, I'm, I'm wrapping it up quickly too. I'm like, well, what else is there to say? Where did that kid get that hat, you know? <laughs> just you know just why did they walk towards the sheep why did the sheriff not notice where they were walking to he acted like he'd never seen it before maybe right next to it or you know I mean, what's the sheep we're walking to the dead sheep sheriff and then he went off on, off on an adventure through the forest tracking the mm, still warm finally got back to base camp you know, he, he was very far away. That's why he needed the binoculars. That was an odd scene, too. It was like, ooh, it's coming from the forest and it's going straight to the camp. Yeah, no shit, no shit. We found a sheep right here at the camp. No shit, Sheriff. <laughs> right, okay. Yeah, I'm done now. Come back next time for the dream. I feel like I'm in a dream right now. <laughs>